move on to brighter days. Let's king, kick things off with the Utah Jazz. Speaking of brighter days, they tipped off a long seven-game road trip tonight at San Antonio with a blowout win. Let's take a look back at the entire week, though. On Monday, Jazz went into Oklahoma City, and Donovan Mitchell finished off the Thunder, scored the final 12 points of the game for the Jazz, including the game-winning bank shot with seven seconds left as the Jazz won by a point. Then on New Year's Eve, the Jazz went ice cold at home against Phoenix, shooting just 42% from the field. Devin Booker led the way with 25. The Suns held on to win by 11. But the next night against the Clippers, Mike Conley took over. What a way to start the new year. New Year's Day, 33 points as the Jazz held off a furious rally in the fourth to win it by six. And then tonight against the Spurs, Jazz came out on fire. They scored a season-high 130 points. Boyan Bogdanovich broke out of his little slump hitting six of seven three-pointers, 10 of 13 shots overall for 28 points. Jazz made 21 of 41 from beyond the arc. Donovan Mitchell, 22. Jordan Clarkson, 18. Mike Conley, 15. They made 55% of their shots from the field. So, Wes, one down on this road trip, six more to go. Yeah. This, not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. And as I've said before, and I've been quoted by so many, you can't win them all nope. unless you win that first one. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's your I'm, saying, I think. I've been quoted by a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, no, I thought the Jazz looked really impressive tonight. They looked more relaxed. And in fact, the last two games, they started out much more relaxed, had uh, confidence, and just think, took things a little slower. You know, they you talk about how the game slows down and you let the game come to you. Uh, they were able to do that. And getting Boyan Bogdanovich off and getting his yeah. shot back, that was great to see because he has struggled. Well, the last two games going into this, 0 for 8 yeah. from three-point land. The way he shot, you're like, how does this guy miss eight three-pointers on he, the year? And he missed a lot of chippies at the rim. Like, he would get inside the rim and try to lay it up and it just fall off. It's just one of those bizarre things, but, but when he's, he's on, on slump. Oh, it is a thing to watch. He's been shooters. great. But we can't stop talking about Mike Conley yeah. and how good he's been. Do you know through, what, six games now? He's the Jazz leading scorer. Really? Even <laughs> more so than Donovan Mitchell. I never would have guessed that, but he's been maybe the most consistent guy on the floor for the Jazz. Rudy Gobert, six block yeah. shots. This is the team. I mean, San Antonio did not play great defense. No. I mean, the Jazz had a ton of wide open threes. And to their credit, they knocked them down. Yeah. And they weren't knocking them down against Phoenix when they really struggled for the floor. Yeah, and that was disappointing to see because, especially playing at home, the Jazz just had, had struggled those first two games at home. You're like, this is not the way it's supposed to be. You're spo supposed to win your home games right. and maybe struggle a little bit on the road. They're 3-0 they on, three three on the road. 3-0 yeah. on the road, beating, beating Portland, Oklahoma City, and now now San Antonio, six more games on the road before they return to Salt yeah. Lake a week from this Saturday. So they're going to be gone for a long, long time. But it's a very condensed schedule, seven games in 11, 11 days. 11 days. That's going to be brutal. Yeah. But uh, you know what? This team is deep. Yep. They can rely yep. on a Jordan Clarkson or a Derek Favors or Joe Ingles, guys off the bench. They, they can you know, put up big numbers as a starter can. So I think they're gonna, Quinn's going to be able to spread the minutes around. Really is going to help them on this and road trip. And how about that double-double by Derek Favors the other night that was very quiet? Yeah. Just Royce O'Neal had a double-double double today, double 11 day. points, 11 boards. I mean, they have so many yeah. guys that can contribute, but when they shoot the ball well, I don't know if there's many teams that can beat them, and that includes the Lakers. And Donovan Mitchell, of course, led the, le uh, led the team in scoring in the bubble in the playoffs, like 36 points a game. You don't need Donovan Mitchell to score 36 points a game no. if everyone else is scoring. He was 5 of 9 from three-point range. He, he had, what, 22 points? That's where they need nine Donovan. Assists. Nine assists. And that That's makes, what they want from Donovan. That makes the Jazz a much, much better team. All right.